Welcome. Infilomi is an iPad from 2021 and today I will show you how to hard reset the device through DFU mode. Now before we get started there are several things that we'll need uh, so I'm gonna start basically listing them. So number one uh, we will need a cable um, and uh, well number two we will need a computer. And then that's kind of where the list ends to be honest. Uh, now you can use any kind of computer that could be a Windows or Mac. Uh, if you're using Windows you will need to download iTunes which uh, is accessible on the Windows Store and if you're using a Mac based computer uh, you don't actually need to download anything uh, everything that you need is already kind of like pre-baked into the system so all you would need to do is simply open up your finder which is uh, kind of like the Explorer on Windows so anyway uh, from here we can now plug it in there we go and give it a second and there we go it shows up on the computer side as you can see, there it is. So uh, going back to the Apple side, if you're using a uh, MacBook or something like that, uh, once you open up your Finder, uh, you will have, let me just quickly kind of show it how this would look like. So if this is your Finder, which is basically the same thing for Windows. Uh, when you scroll down, you should see your uh, iPad somewhere in the list right here. And once you click on it, instead of seeing this, you will basically see this. So from here, uh, you will select Restore iPad uh, if you're doing this for the first time. And this will basically give you a pop-up uh, to ag agree to the terms of service so you can start the download of iOS. Now I already have downloaded iOS, the newest version of it, so uh, I don't need to. Unfortunately, you are always required to download the newest version, uh, assuming you don't have the newest version. Uh, if you already downloaded uh, one previously and it's still on your computer, then you don't need to do anything, it will start automatically extracting it. But assuming probably majority of us don't have it uh, ready to go, uh, you will basically start a download which will show up somewhere in here. Now it's a 5 gigabyte file or so and it will take you some time, maybe half an hour or so, to download it. Uh, primarily the majority of the time, uh, or majority of the download is being bottlenecked by uh, Apple themselves because with a gigabit internet it took me 40 minutes or so to download it, 5 gigabytes. Eh, let's be honest, 1 gigabit net shouldn't be taking 40 minutes to download a 5 gigs, so yeah. Uh, anyway, so once you have all that ready, we can now put the device into the DFU mode and this is a little bit of a weird key combo, so we will start by holding the home button and the power key at the same time for 10 seconds at which uh, point once 10 seconds passes you will let go of the power and then switch to holding volume down and never release this so basically you kind of demonstrating you hold these 10 seconds passes so you switch to volume down instead of power key and you keep holding till it shows up on iTunes or, or Finder as a iPad in recovery mode. Uh, yes, it's in recovery mode apparently. Uh, that's how iTunes or uh, Mac sees it because uh, apparently decades of, uh, of innovation hasn't really given them, them the uh, idea to change the name from recovery mode to uh, what it's actually named DFU mode. So anyway, just a rant and let's get going. So I'm gonna grab it in my hand. It's, it's a little bit easier for me to do it while, when I'm holding it. I can just like kind of show it sideways. So you can see there's the volume down. So I'm gonna start holding this at an angle just so you can see it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's this switch. Uh, as you can see, I'm still holding the home button. And you will see that nothing changes on the iPad. It's just completely black and it's already in DFU mode. Uh, so the device looks like it's off and while on here, you can see it shows us iPad in recovery mode. Um, no, it's not in recovery mode, but that's besides the point. So anyway, uh, from here, select reset iPad, no, reset, restore. Uh, restore and update. And this will automatically for me begin uh, extracting software. If you already downloaded it, that will be the same thing for you. But if you haven't downloaded it, it will now start the download process, which like I mentioned, might take a couple minutes. So 
So anyway, uh, once you press this and it's extracting, you can just leave it, uh, go make yourself some coffee or whatever. Uh, it's gonna take uh, some time, about 10 to 20 minutes to install this. And once it's completed, uh, we should be then presented with the setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. And as you can see, now the process is finished, you can set up your device however you like. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.